Well, we know that fashion begins on the runways of places like Paris and New York and Montreal, but you know the real shopping happens on real streets and real malls, so we thought we'd bring iDazzle out and find out what's going on with one of Canada's leading retailers that caters to the upper end ladies market, J. Michaels, find out what they're showing in their stores and what real women are buying after they see the looks on the runway. They're showing the looks for fall, winter 2009-2010, they've got an in-store fashion show, so let's head on into J. Michaels and see what they've got in store for us. Come on. Michaels talking with Susan Yakabuchi about uh, fall winter 2009 2010 Susan what are some of the main trends that we're seeing this year in terms of uh, fashion for fall and winter uh, we're seeing a, a lot of a big trend towards jackets and a little bit more of a structured look but uh, in a casual way we're mixing it up rather than having a matching suit uh, we're taking the pieces and wearing them a little bit differently and uh, wearing them with back to jeans and back to casual wear as well. of things that almost have that layered look like even what you're wearing here you've got a sleeve and then a sleeve uh, coming out I mean it's like the the rules are you, you layer things but you layer them differently than they layered things a few years back it seems yeah it's just creating something interest people really get tired of same old same old and uh, just to add some visual interest and some color some depth to the the outfit and you really get a, a really interesting look when you're doing some layering when you've got a bit of a cap sleeve as opposed to a long sleeve it's a little cooler and more comfortable to wear. Susan, you and I are both wearing gray today. Is this a coincidence or is this the, the color to have for uh, this season? Uh, charcoal gray is the new neutral for 2009. And for those of you who like the cooler tones as opposed to the uh, warmer tones, like chocolate brown was in a few years ago, it's really nice to go with the purples and the grapes and the pinks, which are huge this year. Yeah, then the colors really pop off of the neutral, off of the neutral gray. So, it, and gray also teams well with black. So for those of us who kind of never really want to let go of some of our black, we we can kind of mix that in with the gray as well, but get get the splash of color too. One thing I noticed in the fashion show, Susan, a lot of scarves, and I know you mentioned you've got a lot of scarves. You know, scarves are such a smart accessory, but for a few years we didn't seem to see as many. Are they making a huge comeback now? Well, it depends on whose world we're talking about. In Saskatoon, our women love our scarves. We are the number one selling scarf store, and by the way, coat store in the entire country. Uh, the ladies just love scarves, and it's a, just a great way to jazz up an outfit, add some color, and of course, a little warmth around your neck.
color this season against this uh, new, the new gray neutral. But if you had to say one color to add to your wardrobe, is there any one color? Because I know in the show we saw turquoise and we saw red and we saw orange and we saw kind of an almost an olive green. Is there a, is there a to have color? Well, I think there's uh, probably a couple to have colors. I, I think the charcoal gray is definitely something you're going to want to add to your wardrobe. But really the big story this year, the, the fun color is the purples and the grapes and the violets. And we haven't seen them for a really long time. And everybody loves them. Every woman can find a pink that looks good on her. should we be looking for, uh, keep our eyes peeled for as we go into the holiday season? Um, well, you're going to see a lot of black in evening wear as you do every year. It's just the, the color for evening wear. We're going to see uh, some of the grapes, we're going to see some of the reds. We will see some of the gowns. Um, they're not uh, as big as sort of an after five knee length dress. But we are going to have a lot of separates. There's going to be a little bit of glitz, a little bit of glam, a little bit of shine, a little bit of sequins. So you're going to see it all for holidays 2009, and they're always a lot of fun. Well, we're going to look forward to that. Susan, thanks for taking some time with us today. Thank you so much.